All right, um, I was gonna put music in this video, but I couldn't really find anything that really fit this tank, so I'm just doing a commentary, and it's been a while since I've done a commentary anyway, so I figured you guys might miss my voice, even though I'm probably wrong, but anyway, on with the show. Speed up the countdown. Go, go, go. Okay. Yes, I really did put the Duke Nukem voice on here. And I'm sorry if I sound a little frustrated. On my other microphone, I was too quiet. So now I've got to do this all again. And, uh, yeah, th this thing doesn't have the big gun on it, the 155 on it yet. Um, I know I usually do videos after the tanks are fully upgraded, but this battle was epic enough to just go ahead and put it on YouTube. And I hit this guy once, but for some reason, after my months of not playing, I've gotten rusty, it seems, with shooting small, fast-moving targets, as proven by this. And here I accidentally hit a T-29 on my own team, for which I still feel quite, quite bad about. But he said it was okay, so I guess I shouldn't feel that bad. A KV-5 is the one who ended up getting that guy. And I've figured out that filming this beforehand and doing the commentary after is a lot easier because I can concentrate more on the commentary and the other things I'm doing as opposed to paying attention to the game. Which is what I used to do. Which is still fun in itself, but at the same time it gets in the way sometimes because you're concentrating on something else other than the game. keep trying to hit this Lorraine over there, but he's not really in a position where I would be able to hit him with this gun, because it's just inaccurate enough to where I can't, even if I, even if he's still got a fair amount of him expo exposed, like he does right now, he's got his whole turret exposed. But, eh, at least this gun's better than the 105, which just absolutely sucked, because the, the shots would never go where you want them to. It always go like a little to the left or a little to the right or up or down and eh. it's like that gun's trying to work against you. Only time it was actually any good is when you're like, right up on the person so that you can't miss. But I mean, hey, it, it, I may as well have just put footballs in it and you know it, it wouldn't have done much, but it would have scared the hell out of people. Not because of the gun, but because of the fact that they've got a T-95 staring at them. So. down goes the tree, but it doesn't really matter because there's no artillery. So it's K. The only thing that would make it more K is oranges. Yes, I made a wall choke. I'm on you like stink on shit. <laughs> I love the Duke voices. They're, they're awesome. Owned. Oh. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I would have gone in slow-mo with that, but no, I'm also concentrating on my phone. Oh, well. I'm sure you guys know what happened. So... It works out. My allergies are bothering me today. Then again, they're always bothering me, so... Yep.
tank's fun, but it's so slow. Makes my mouse feel like it's a drag racer. Sounds like me. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Facing your Except for the fact that I can it's fight, be a but bumpy ride. I'm gonna die a virgin. Forever alone. You're about as tough as a piss flavored popsicle. <laughs> Aw, oh, looks like you've fallen apart. Another good thing about the Duke thing is sometimes I do get frustrated at this game and that provides comic relief while actually playing it. And here comes my fourth kill. Looks like you're fucked. fucked. Coming apart at the seams. It looks like Duke li likes to point out what people Stand look like. Right and I'm starting to freak out, but then the Object 704 who's with me kills the King Tiger. So I stop freaking out. And Tiger's dead. And then I use him cover for my ass. It's like the only weakness of this tank is its ass. And its sides, I guess, because... Oh, well, you just can't do anything if something gets around to your side, because you don't turn fast enough. It's definitely no Hetzer or Stug, that's for sure, but... At the same time, it's fun in its own right. As long as you keep things to your front. Oh, and if you're wondering why this mic sounds so, so shitty, it's my webcam mic. So, forgive me for that as well. And here comes the IS-4, that is my sixth kill. It takes a while for me to actually kill him because of the zero damage critical hits and I bounce off him once. See, like that, right there. Zero damage critical hit. And next is a bounce. Shit. Need a new ass. That one's got a hole in it. <sighs> That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Need a new ass. King, that one's got a hole in it. <laughs> This should have been my seventh kill, but no, the gun decides to miss. I just knocked over a cup. Fortunately, it was empty. Anyway, 
This match proves do not underestimate a T95 and an Object 704 combo. Even when you're when yeah, I cannot speak. Even when you outnumber them. Anyway, the 704 got Top Gun, but I got Steel Wall. You might be able to see it right there. I'm not sure. <laughs> 